All right, J-O-N, it's time to get back ready, man. It's time to go to work. Let's get it. Because, you know, we be in here putting in long hours. Mm -hmm. and sometimes you might have to go get you a little caffeinated <laughs> beverage or something. A little pick-me-up? A little pick-me-up, a little, you feel me? I can dig it. A little something, a little burn the midnight oil, if you will. <laughs> but I'm about to switch brands. Mm. I'm going black on everything. What you thinking? No, I'm just saying, I've, I've been trying to look for black people that own everything. I know that's right, bro. So today, on the black market, mm -hmm. you know what we adding to the black market? What we adding to A coffee shop. Come on, man. Look, I gotta... Bring that bell. Let's go. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. It has to be done. It needed to be did. For sure, for sure. Okay. So, you know, if we're gonna add a coffee shop, it only makes sense. That is, it's black. Mm. Like the coffee. Yes, sir. So we gonna call this one Kiki's Coffee Shop. I love it. It's on you. the black market with us today. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the real Kiki. Yes, sir. <laughs> Kiara. <laughs> Kiara, if you from the Midwest. For sure. Technically, I'm from the Midwest, but I grew up on the South Side. So you know people say it different. Mm -hmm. What they call you Kiara? I'm from Oklahoma. And that's what they call me. Kiara. Kiara. How many people call you Kiara? Everybody from Atlanta. See? Mm. <laughs> I told you it's regional. Black people just won't accept it. Mm-hmm. So how you been? Good. Caffeinated. Caffeinated. Mm -hmm. How's business? Good. Everything good over yes. there at Kiki's Coffee Shop. Yes. Tell us how it all got started. I'm waiting on so, my beverage to cool down. Really, I'm buying me a little <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, that's fresh. It's fresh. Um, Look it at the steam off, coming off. <laughs> Should I burn your lip off? It started off as a, well, first, let's start from the beginning. Um, years ago, I used to work at Starbucks, so basically learned the ins and outs, how to make coffees, lattes, cappuccinos, macchiatos, everything. Levels. Uh, yep. And we had to learn about different beans. Um, we had to sample everything that they have, all coffees, all cappuccinos, everything, down to the sweets, too. Um, so that took off. You know, I was doing that for a, a couple years or so. Then um, left there, worked at a donut place, same thing. Um, fast forward, April of last year, so make a year this month. Um, I started this as like something I needed extra stream of income because I had a baby on the way. Uh oh. <laughs> so I was like, I need some more money. And I was like, I'm gonna do something that I already know, like the back of my hand, something that I, you know, some people start a business, they don't know nothing about it, but it's something that I know. So um, did my research, found a farm that has the green beans. I roast them, grind them, flavor them myself. Package Hold on, of you the know whole how operation. to flavor coffee beans? <laughs> yes. Wow. White people, y'all in trouble. <laughs> Black people that learn how to flavor coffee beans. What, what, what's that process? Because, you know, that might be something we ain't tapped into yet. Yeah, so, got a, you know, a little Hispanic guy. You know, the beans come from Brazil. Mm. <laughs> and they come green. It's delicious, super green. but it's hot. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> And I got a big roaster machine, and you put it in there, you set it at a certain temperature. You don't want it to get, basically, if you want a light roast, medium roast, or dark roast, you raise the temperature of the machine. Um, and it goes for so many so hours. And once it gets to the end is when you put your flavor in it and let it soak in the beans. Then I got a grinder, I grind them up myself, um, package everything. I do my own labeling, packaging, shipping. I'm the whole factory in right. one. Um, so far, I've been doing a lot of festivals, a lot of events, pop-up shops locally. Um, I have a website online too, so I ship online. I even do deliveries, pull up to your doorstep with hot coffee or iced coffee. Wow. That's impressive. So I do it all. What was your favorite part about working in the coffee business? The different types of people you run into. Yeah. A lot of weird type of people you run into that drink coffee. And coffee is universal. Yeah. 
anybody from every background, every race love coffee. Yeah. So that's one thing. And then my brand mixes hip hop and coffee. So every flavor that I have is based on a different rap song. Um, and it comes with a QR code on there. You scan it, pull up the playlist that plays every song for every flavor that you're drinking. That's hard. <laughs> That's hard. And I'm a big, we, you know, we, some for the culture, because we're not really dominant in the coffee industry. We about to be, though. Mm -hmm. They're going to be on your ass once they figure out you done learned how to flavor coffee beans. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know how to do it, but I did my research. What's your favorite flavor? Um, my favorite what's flavor. Your, you know, your favorite drink? Um, as far as coffee go, I like iced coffee. I don't like my coffee hot. I drink it iced. I don't care if it's five degrees outside. I like it iced, but I made my own flavor because I'm Kiki. So, Kiki, do you love Just me? Just because you Kiki? Yeah, mm. I made oh, my own. Okay. So, the Kiki, do you love me? And that's the chocolate chip almond. That's my favorite flavor. Oh. Um, and the one you have today is Toast of the Good Life, and that's French toast. Okay, so just based off the color of my hand, <laughs> what kind of coffee would this be? That's, you know, a little mocha. Talk to him. <laughs> Talk to him. We're bringing mocha back. You heard it. This coming from the coffee expert. We ain't going to say that's chocolate. The, that ain't a macchiato. Mocha. That ain't. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, he more of macchiato. Oh, OK. I'm that's mocha. mocha. Yeah, he's okay. a macchiato. Right. OK. <laughs> so this, mo this, this most right. definitely mocha. Yeah, that's mocha. All right. You heard what the coffee lady said. Don't, don't play with me. Give me all mine. And, and mocha chino. <laughs> <laughs> so I do know how to make every drink. Um, Every one. Yeah. I was mm -hmm. talking about flawless. So my goal is to get a trailer where I can actually set up shop different places. Once you get that trailer, move to a coffee shop where I want it to be like, when they walk in the door, you know how you go in Jersey Mike's or Moe's, they be like, welcome to Moe's. I want everybody, when they walk in the door, I want to say hip hop hooray, like when they walk through the door. You already uh, got it laid yeah, out. Yeah, I got the whole list of plan. Like this is the, my business plan from top to bottom. Wow. So I'm just working on saving up to open my trailer. Um, I have the outfits lined up, how I want everybody to dress, um, down to the flavor, the cups, everything, the decor, it's all right. So you're going to take, because this is good. I'm going to put some sugar in it, because I like my shit to be real sweet. <laughs> but I feel where you're going with the, you feel me? And then you already got it laid out. So it's like, if somebody was watching this right now, and they were like, you know what? I like her idea. I want to I wanna throw a couple of dollars on it. What can they? What can they find you? What can they reach out to you? What can they sh shop with you? What can they support you? You can find me on all social networks at Kiki's Coffee, and that's coffee with a K. Um, my website is Kiki'sCoffee.com. Make sure you shop with me. And if you don't drink coffee, I got teas on there too. Know the name at the R&B songs. Hold up. <laughs> Not the R&B, but the R and T. <laughs> R and T. Oh, man. So tell me about that, though. So um, my mom is a big tea drinker. She don't really do coffee, but now I got her into coffee, but I made sure I got tea for a lot of people that don't drink coffee. Um, I did the research on my teas because you can't just sell it without knowing what you're doing. Each, all the teas have some type of benefits, like help with your blood pressure, diabetes regulation, you know, stuff that black people got in their, like, generational gene for some reason. Um, I got Yerba Mate tea, like that helps with, like I said, lowering your blood pressure, helps with Parkinson's disease, like prevents it, Alzheimer's helps prevent that. Um, it's a lot of different teas on there. So for example, my top seller tea is called Baduism, and that's chamomile tea. So each tea gives like different little mellow vibes. I got Twisted, based off, based off the Keith uh, Key Sweat song, Twisted, and that's hibiscus mint. Um, then I also have, for pregnant women, if you want to speed your process up, um, they got raspberry leaf, I got raspberry leaf tea on there, and that is called Love TKO, because you already done not, you know, knocked it on out, so. Mm. Um, check that out, too, if you don't drink coffee, get my teas, so we working it out. I got coffee teas. Come on, man. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. It's official now. The black market has a coffee shop. Yes, Kiki's Coffee Shop. Make sure you holler at her. Make sure you shop with her. And guess what, Kiki? What? Coffee cart coming soon. We what? out of here. <laughs> 85 South Black Market. <laughs> Kiki with the coffee. And we drinking because it's lovely. <laughs> How's the baby? <laughs> <laughs>